वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन मोर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन थेविनेंस थियरम एंड इफ यू सी माई प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन थेविनेंस थियरम देन यू विल बी ऑब्जर्विंग दोज वेर बीन बेस्ड ऑन इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस हियर आई विल बी सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन डिपेंडेंट सोर्स सो वेन यू कैलकुलेट आर टी एच एंड वी टी एच एट दट टाइम फॉर द केस ऑफ डिपेंडेंट सोर्स there are few modifications that you should take care of i'll explain you step by step what are those modifications right so here if you observe this circuit then in that you see this current source that is having value alpha ix and ix is passing through this link also so here i can say this current source is depending on this current passing through this link so this is dependent current source and if you observe this is a voltage source that is having constant value vs so this is independent voltage source so as this current source is dependent current source when you calculate value of rth at that time there are some modifications let us first calculate value of vth for this network now see we are dealing with to find vth for this circuit so what is vth so see vth is equivalent thevenin's voltage and that process will remain same for dependent sources as well as for independent sources so when you want to calculate vth it will be a voltage measured at output so at ab terminal we will be measuring voltage vth at output let us say this is plus and this is minus terminal and here we should be removing load if it is connected for given circuit we don't have any load so we don't need to remove anything right now if you observe this is open circuit so ix passing through load that will be zero as this is open circuit right and if you observe this ix is zero it means alpha ix that is also zero and as if alpha ix that is this current source if it is zero then you don't need to connect this current source in this circuit so let me remove this so now this vth that is a voltage across r3 resistor right now if you want to calculate what is the value of vth then simply based on voltage divider rule we can calculate it see vs is the supply voltage and vth that is connected across r3 so i can say vth that will be total supply voltage vs into resistance across which we are deal with to measure that so that is r3 divided by total resistance that is r1 plus r2 plus r3 so vth voltage that is vs into r3 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this is our threshold voltage now our agenda is to identify rth of this given network now see whenever you want to calculate rth at that time there are few things that we need to note down see for independent sources it will remain same for independent sources voltage sources should be considered as short circuit and current sources should be considered as open circuit but for dependent sources we don't need to replace anything remember this for independent sources we will have to provide short circuit for voltage source and open circuit for current source but for independent sources we don't need to connect anything it should be as it is and at load we should be connecting supply voltage v and that will be producing current i and we need to take ratio of v by i that will be our rth let me show you step by step so here you see we have voltage source vs and that is independent voltage source so i need to remove this voltage source and i should be providing short circuit here right this is dependent current source so that should be as it is and here i need to connect one battery 
with plus minus polarity V and if I say that is producing current I in this loop then RTH will be V by I. So this is the basic thing that you will have to practice for dependent source right now to calculate V by I what I'll be doing is I'll be simplifying this circuit further so to simplify this circuit here if you observe we have current source here and if I convert this current source into voltage source then we will be having simple two loops and based on two loops we can easily find V by I. So this current source in terms of voltage source that will be voltage source in series with R2 current source in parallel with R2 will be equals to voltage source in series with R2. So here now what I'll do is I'll convert this current source into voltage source. Now you see I have connected voltage source here which is there in series with R2 and polarity will be as per this direction it will be minus plus and and the value of voltage that will be V is equals to IR here I is alpha IX and R is R2 so voltage will be alpha IX R2 so this is how I can convert this current source into voltage source now to simplify this circuit in form of V by I let us first consider this loop and this loop and both are in counterclockwise direction you can see and let us say in this loop current is I dash. Now first I will apply KVL in loop I. So in this loop we have only one voltage source and that is having value V which is happening from minus to plus. So I can say it is plus V and that is equals to voltage drop across each element. So here R3 is only resistance and due to loop I current will be I minus I dash. So I can say V is equals to R3 into I minus I dash. Now you see I dash is there. So if I replace this I dash in terms of I from this second loop I can be able to solve V by I that is equals to RTH right so let us consider this second loop that is having current I dash now you see in this loop only one voltage source is there and that is having value alpha IX R2 and that is happening from plus to minus direction so I need to say that is minus alpha ix r2 as it is happening from plus to minus direction and no other voltage sources are there in this loop so now i need to consider all the elements through which voltage drop should be calculated so through r1 it will be r1 i dash plus through r2 it will be r2 i dash plus through r3 it will be R3 into current due to loop I dash that is I dash minus I. Now here you see IX is there and if you observe see here I is happening in this direction. So IX that is obviously equals to minus I that I can say. So instead of IX if I place minus I this equation will be alpha I R2 that is equals to R1 I dash plus R2 I dash plus R3 into I dash minus I. Now let us take I term on one side. So here this will be I common alpha R2 plus R3 that is equals to I dash common over here. So that will be R1 plus R2 plus R3. So I can have I dash that is alpha R2 plus R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. 
Now if I place i dash value in this equation then i into alpha r2 plus r3 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3. Now simply we just need to take LCM and i is common from this two term. So I can say i into r3 into 1 minus alpha r2 plus r3 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3. Now just take LCM. So we'll be having V by I that is RTH and that is equals to R3 into R1 plus R2 plus R3 due to cross multiplication minus alpha R2 minus R3 and that divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now you see this R3 and this R3 will get cancelled. So I have V by I that is RTH and RTH that is R3 into now you see R1 plus if you take R2 common then 1 minus alpha divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. See this is how I can have a value of RTH. So RTH and VTH that we have. So this is our VTH and this is our RTH. Now based on VTH and RTH let us make equivalent circuit. So RTH that is this and VTH that is Vs into R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this is how we can simplify this type of question. Here only one thing that you should understand in case of dependent source you will have to connect voltage source in calculation of RTH and dependent sources should be as it is and independent sources that should be as per voltage source are there in terms of short circuit and current sources are there in terms of open circuit and then calculate ratio of V by I that will be our RTH. This is what one thing that you'll have to keep in your mind when you want to calculate Thaminen's theorem for dependent and independent combination. I hope you have understood this. I'll explain one more example based on dependent source. So this will give you more clear idea. So just stay tuned with this channel for next example. Thank you so much for watching this video.